The sales tax holiday comes just in time for back to school, but this year, parents don't even know if the kids are going back to school. So there's a lot of questions for retailers. At City Gear in Bond Hill, they know all the latest fashion trends. A lot of Jordans, uh, everything $75 and under, I'll be tax free. But they're about to find out about a financial trend as the sales tax holiday begins this year, learning how closely COVID classrooms and commerce are linked. Tax free weekend, it should be a big weekend. Ty Daniels is part of the management team here. He says they are seeing interest in the tax holiday. People are starting to ask questions like as far as when does it start? Um, how long? The Ohio sales tax holiday coincides with back to school, but that doesn't mean what it used to. We're just waiting to see how this weekend goes. You know how you hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Davon Award is the manager at City Gear. She's optimistic, but says it's all unpredictable since most kids aren't going to be at school. Some people are like, yeah, you can save money on shoes. But some people are like, but where are the kids wearing the shoes too? Because if they're going to be going to school from home, are they getting fly for the living room or what are they doing? The sales tax holiday Friday, Saturday and Sunday means no tax on clothing, $75 or less and on school supplies, $20 or less. Shay Andrews, who has two kids, is planning to take advantage of the break. It'll help me save a couple more dollars opposed to spending more that I have to. It can be a telling weekend where COVID intersects with the trends of fashion and finances. And you don't have to live in Ohio to take advantage of Ohio's sales tax holiday. Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.